Okay, so here's how I've set up Shake It Up on the Roland Juno DS88. Um, you have to create a performance which includes a split, and I'm doing a split between SY SO2 synth solo on the bottom. Change as you wish. And for the uh, for the arpeggio on the top, I'm using SY S11 pure sine lead, which sounds like this. Close enough. It's got a little extra reverb and stuff that we don't need, but you can edit that out later. Most important thing though, the Roland Juno DS88 does not save arpeggio patterns. So here are the changes that I've made. I've selected pattern number 004, basic 4A. Uh, for the part, we're not doing the upper, we're doing the, oh, yes, yeah, sorry, it begins as lower and we change it to upper. And the way you do that is by pressing the negative key, the minus key, which seems a little silly, but that's what it is. Arp hold, I don't feel like I wanna hold the chords. I think I'm leaving this off, it's up to you. The grid, I think it defaults to one, uh, a 16th note, but I switched it to an eighth note, not swung. It's just plain eighth notes. Uh, other other options involve some which we don't actually want. So you want to choose the one that is eighth note straight. I've changed the duration to full and the motif to be down with the flat line. Finally, velocity real, I think that's fine. Octave range, minus two, super important so that you can play this. It's basically close to what happens on the record. There you go. Also, don't forget to tap tempo to make your tempo match with your drummer's playing. There you go.